calculators in normal mode. Let's say you wanted to do uh, some hexadecimal. On the Casio, you have to go into a different mode. So I'm going to go into the uh, base N mode 4. And let's say I want to do hexadecimal. So I change it in green. It's probably hard to see here, but you have hex. So I put it into hex. And then I could say 3. I don't have to do shift because it knows I'm talking hex here. 3B times 8F equals 20F5. That's nice. If I want to know what it is as a decimal, I can hit decimal. Um, guessing it's too big for binary. Let's see if it blows up. Oh no, it does binary. So that's how you can go between them. But then when I'm done messing with that mode, I have to go back to my normal comp mode, I guess computation mode. On the sharp, I can do the same problem. All I have to do is just tell it that I'm in hex. I don't have to go to a different mode. I just say I'm in hex and I do 3b times 8f. Same thing where I don't have to tell it alpha, you know, for the letters. And I hit my equals. I get my answer, 20f5. I can convert it by hitting shift and go into decimal, 8,437. And hopefully this works too here. Let's do binary. Ah, interesting. All right, so that was happenstance, but the Casio looks like it supports a little bit longer bit length than the Sharp um, for what that's worth. But Sharp does definitely make it easier to get to that if you were doing those calculations, you know, here and there. If you're doing a bunch of them, then who cares that you have to switch modes?